everything that glitters is not gold. And in today's video, I want to talk about Instagram model Dying Rax, who was recently hospitalized for having some complications after a fat transfer. And I would like to use this video as an opportunity to speak to all of the young black women out here. I want you all to listen very closely because this is real life. This is not a joke, not a game. And I really need young black women to understand that what you see is not always reality. And I touched on this briefly in my social media influence video and my dream doll video, which you should go check out, by the way, if you have not seen them already. And I said that we would be seeing more and more women coming out, sharing their experiences with failed plastic surgery procedures and other post-surgical complications. And it is happening. However, it is still very early and many of these women are not going to speak out for fear of embarrassment or regret. And unfortunately, a big part of this is that a lot of them will continue to suffer in silence. And for you, it's a disservice, not on their part, but the part of your lack of true knowledge about the body and how plastic surgery affects your soul. No cosmetic surgeon will ever tell you the true risk. Of course, you will get the disclaimers and be forced to sign generic copy and paste paperwork before putting your life on the table and into their hands. But the true risk, the true complications, never that. Because these physicians have money on the line and your black life is never a priority to them. It will never be. Not when their money is involved. And so what you normally see on Instagram for models that have gone under the knife is contained only to fact sharing. Their highlight reels. Their best moments or so you think. You see the body, the bags, the shoes, the diamonds, the cars, the men, the trips. It looks like life is perfect. But a lot of these models do not share in the severity of what is truly going on with their bodies and more importantly, their minds behind closed doors. This is what we do not see. This is what we do not hear. I'd probably be here for two months, but I can um, go home on some antibiotics. And then just the hair that another, to hear that another bacteria is growing, that's the worst the worst, the fucking worst. I was in a group home with a girl who had MRSA. And she was so sick. She was so sick. That girl was always sick. Like, and I keep, I try to, I keep trying to figure out, like, why do I keep waking up sick? Why I keep, why I keep waking up, like, I gotta throw up. Why don't you have them take out the plastic? Bitch, what fucking plastic do I got? I don't have no plastic in me, bitch. Like, I don't know why y'all come up my life and try to comfort me. I'm trying to put the people on point that's, that want to go to Dr. Bruce. Please shut the fuck up. Please. I don't have no plastic in my body. Please shut the fuck up. It's fat that was transferred. It was fat that was transferred. My own fat from my stomach put in my hips. And the tools were dirty. I don't know how many times I got to say that. The tools were dirty. The stuff that they used was dirty. The stuff that they use was dirty. I've been dealing with this since December 30th. I've been dealing with this since December 30th, and I don't wish it on nobody. I don't wish it on nobody, bro. You know, all y'all could do is say negative shit. A lot of y'all saying positive shit, and I appreciate y'all. But I'm telling y'all, do not go to Dr. Brewster because y'all going to be in the same situation. I just want the people that's supposed to be going to make sure y'all either if y'all want the, the surgery so bad if y'all want the surgery so bad i'll just say tell them to make watch them clean it shit watch them clean their tools because you're gonna end up like me you're gonna end like end up like me in the hospital in the fucking hospital this is so sad i mean it really is it's, it's just so sad and while she was talking, I could literally see the little girl in her that was scared and afraid of what could possibly happen. And that behind all of her anger and the profanity, she is scared and in fear of her life. 
And just to give a little background, it's my understanding that Dime Rags had previously had a Brazilian butt lift and that this was a second round in which she was having liposuction done along with the fat transfer from her stomach to her hips. And the physician that did the surgery was opening a new clinic and wanted her assistance with bringing publicity to his business. And so the procedure, of course, would be at little or no cost to her. And this is very common. This happens a lot with physicians looking to grow their business and wanting to um, open up new surgery centers or just bring more people to their practice. It allows them to reach more people by using Instagram models with large followings like Dime Racks to help market their business. And of course, we're living in an era right now where everyone... Everyone wants some type of surgery, and a lot of women are going under the knife. And so for these physicians, it's a win-win. It's a business opportunity where they do a surgery for free, a couple thousand dollars washed, and these models bring them triple the amount of new business from their following. Now, sometime after Don Rack's procedure, she began to feel sick and suffered recurrent infections, causing her to feel like every time she got better, she would get sick again and just continue to happen. And so she went to the hospital and was eventually admitted where she learned that she had a large infection in her body that stemmed from her recent fat transfer. And they were able to pinpoint the infection to a site on her hips. And this infection has since been linked to unsanitary and unsterilized tools that the cosmetic surgeon used on her, which have caused her to now become infected by a myriad of unknown organisms along with tuberculosis. See, this is a complicated deal. Unfortunately, it's not something that's going to get fixed quickly, but uh, certainly, you know, we, we need to do our best to try and... Because the problem is once you've got these types of organisms in places where they're not supposed to be, the body doesn't really know how to get rid of them uh, because, you know. And that's why I've been sick. We're not supposed to have tuberculosis and, and sea organisms in our... And I hate that I have to say this again, but I will continue to say it over and over in hopes of reaching some black woman out there that is interested in plastic surgery. And I understand, I get it. A lot of women just don't want to hear it. They don't want to grasp the severity of it. And some just don't want to accept or try to understand it. And that's okay. There is nothing good about plastic surgery. It doesn't matter how you spin it. It doesn't matter what type of procedure it is, whether it's a fat transfer, liposuction, or an implant being put inside of the body. It is not healthy for your immune system. The body was never made to be open. And so when we think like dime racks, oh, well, it's just liposuction. I'm just having fat sucked out. Oh, it's just a fat transfer. I'm just having fat taken from one part of the body and put into another. This is dangerous thinking, ladies. These women really think that it's less severe because it's not injections or an implant. You are still opening your body up. You are still putting your body in the hands of another human being. You are still putting your body and more importantly, your immune system at risk for an infection and in harm's way. How many situations like this have to happen before we really say, OK, OK, let's stop. Let's figure this out. Why are we even doing this? Why are we doing this? Why are we really willing to die? Why are we willing to risk months in a hospital? Don Rack said that she will be in the hospital for almost two months battling this infection. She talked about how she has kids who will likely not even be able to see her while she's dealing with this. Why are black women really willing to put themselves through this? Is it for the views, the likes? Is it for men? Or is not loving yourself and insecurity is really that powerful to the point where it takes over your mind? which leads you to put your body into the hands of another entity. Because once you give your body away on that table and have it open and changed and tucked and sucked and transferred, you will never be the same ever. And I don't care how much it glitters. I do not care how much it glitters. I do not care how much makeup you put on it, how many VVSs you put on it, how many Audemars you put on it, how many Chanel and Birkin bags you put on it, how many Christian Louboutins you stand in it, 
how many Rolls Royces you sit it in. Everything that glitters is not gold. And so I really hope that this has served as a flaming flag for all of the black women out there that are struggling with accepting themselves exactly the way they are and loving themselves exactly the way they are. Because there are so many other ways to perfect our bodies, like toning through yoga, strengthening in the gym. You all have other options, okay? But those options are much harder than lying on the table. Or are they really? Let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. And hopefully we can try to continue to have thought-provoking conversation regarding this issue because black women this is serious it really is like it's serious this is not gold until next time